Hi guys, welcome to the cardiac cycle. So you need to be able to describe the stages of the cardiac cycle, explain how valves control the flow of blood throughout the heart, explain the volume and pressure changes which take place in the heart during the cardiac cycle. So in terms of the spec, uh, we are here. Okay, so pressure and volume changes and associated valve movements uh, in the cardiac cycle. So. Uh, let's get started. So stages of the cardiac cycle, we will start with diastole. Diastole is a relaxation of the heart muscle. So as we can see on the diagram here, the blood enters atria and ventricles from pulmonary vein and vena cava. So here we've got vena cava, here we've got the pulmonary vein. So as it enters, of course, the semilunar valves here must be closed because we want to fill in the uh, heart muscle with the blood. But the left and uh, right atrioventricular valves will be open. So how is it maintained? So because the heart muscle relaxes, blood from the vena cava, so here, and the pulmonary vein here, uh, fills in atrium. And of course, doing so, the pressure in the atria will increase. So, because there is a higher pressure in the atria than in the ventricles, the atrioventricular valves are going to open. So, those valves here will open, ventricles will fill with the blood, and the pressure in the ventricle, okay, here will be still lower than in the aorta and the pulmonary uh, artery. So, the semilunar valves will remain closed. Right, then we're looking at the system, atrial system, so contraction of the atria. So once the atria contract, uh, of course, the pressure in the atria is going to increase. Okay, so uh, atrial walls will contract, the ventricles will remain uh, in the relaxed stage, so the blood will be pumped into ventricles from the uh, from the atria, the uh, atrioventricular valves are going to open, of course, because the pressure in the atria is higher than in the ventricles, and semilunar valves will remain uh, closed as the pressure before the valve, so in the ventricles, is lower than in the blood vessels. Ventricular uh, system then, so the contraction of the ventricles, as we can see here, the difference uh, is in the valves again. So those are our atria. The atrioventricular valves are going to close because now the pressure in the ventricles will be higher than in the pressure in the uh, atria. So because the pressure is higher here, so before the semilunar valves, that's why the semilunar valves are going to open, but atrioventricular valves will remain closed. So here the ventricles, of course, are full uh, with the blood, so the walls are going to contract, pressure will increase, so atrioventricular valves are going to close, and this is one of the sounds of the heart called loop. Pressure in the ventricles will be higher than in the aorta. So there, there is aorta, there is the uh, pu uh, pulmonary artery. So the semilunar valves are going to open and the blood will be pumped under uh, pressure into the aorta and pulmonary artery. Right? So remember the both ventricles will have the same volume but the right ventricle produces lower pressure than left ventricles. And this is due to the distance, uh, how they're going to pump the blood. So the right ventricle pumps the blood only away to the lungs, while the left ventricle will pump it to the rest of the body except the lungs. And the valves will keep the blood flow in one direction because they work due to differences in the uh, pressure. So if the pressure is higher before the valve, the valve is going to open. If the pressure is lower, it's going to remain closed. Right? So the sounds of the heart. So in the cardiac cycle, there are two sounds, loop and dup, and this is uh, related to the valves when they should. So loop. It's the uh, first sound we've seen it when the ventricles are contract. So when the 
atrioventricular valves are going to close and tube. It's a second sound, so when the atria contract uh, and the pulmonary and aortic, so semilunar valves are going to close. Right, quick question here. What is the evidence from the graph or from the text that the first heart sound is caused by the atrioventricular valve closing? It's because the pressure, so again, you remember everything is about the pressure. The pressure of the left ventricle is higher than pressure of the left atrium. And what causes the second heart sound? So closing of the semilunar valves uh, and the pressure in the artery uh, is higher than in ventricles, right? So again, quick recap on the valves. So the valves are going to open if the pressure behind the valve is higher. They're going to close if the pressure behind is lower or if the pressure in the front of it is higher, if you like. Right, so let's match the valves with the uh, function. <coughs> so tricuspid right atrioventricular valve separates the right atrium from the right ventricle. Left uh, atrioventricular valves uh, separates the left atrium from the left ventricle, prevents backflow into atrium. Uh, aortic uh, valve separates the left ventricle from the aorta, prevents backflow when uh, after ventricular contract, and pulmonary valve separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary arteries, prevents backflow after ventricular contraction. Right, so quick uh, look at the cardiac output and the calculations. So cardiac output is calculated as the heart rate times stroke volume. So uh, the units for it are decimeters cubed per unit of time, so per minute. How to calculate the heart rate? Number of beats per minute. So quickly write down here, 60 seconds divided by the length of one cycle. And stroke volume, it's the volume of blood pumped out of each beat. So the best way of uh, looking at this is to find the highest volume, take away the lowest volume. So here, let's have a look, uh, quick activity. So calculate the volume of blood pumped per minute. So volume, okay? First thing you need to find the one cycle. So one cycle, it's here, okay, uh, up to that point, okay? So from 0 0.48 to 0 0.1, sorry, to 4. So volume, what would be the volume? The highest? 120 taken away the lowest 140 so the volume is um, 80 right what if they ask you to calculate the um, the heart rate so we we're looking at the length of one cycle so 1.24 take away 0.48 okay and then if you divide uh, 60 seconds over that length of the cycle you will get uh, the heart rate and the stroke volume then we just multiply those two so one more time stroke volume the highest volume minus the lowest the length of one cycle okay comes from the graph not 0.76 heart rate so beats per minute so 60 seconds divided by the length of one cycle so that's 79 and then the cardiac output, it's the stroke volume multiplied by the heart rate. So that will give us 6,320, right? So that's everything for the cardiac cycle. See you later.